Good morning, Honey Grove. I'm Joshua. And I'm Thomasita. You're watching The Grove on channel Siete, Siete, Siete. Today marks the end of the third nine weeks of school. That means three things. First, if you fail any of your classes, you will become ineligible to participate in extracurricular activity as of next Friday, which is April 4th. It also means report cards will be mailed out next week, and we have a lot of news to report over. It also means that ELCs are coming up very soon. The English 1 ELC will be on Monday, March 31st. The English 2 ELC will be April 1st, which you know is also April Fool's Day. There have been some changes this year in testing as well. Instead of taking the reading and writing separately, they'll be combined. The combined tests have one less reading section and only two short answer questions and one composition to write. You also have five hours instead of four to take the test. April 12th will be a very eventful day for the juniors and seniors. To start the day off, several students will be taking the ACT. Later that evening, the junior and senior prom will take place at the Heritage Hall in Paris from 8 o'clock to midnight. There will be Mardi Gras themed decor along with a variety of activities including a casino, dancing, and karaoke. This just in. We are a report of an awkward banana-like creature roaming the school halls. Hello, Josh. There have been rumors floating around Honeygrove High School of an unwanted creature sitting on pancakes. We are now here with an eyewitness, Officer Lactose Intolerant, and her partner in crime, Nanner Woman. So what info do you have on this trespasser? I have encountered this being on many occasions. It is apparently called Nanner Woman. It can be seen waving its Nanner paws and singing about its substance. So it can. Does your partner in crime, Nanner Woman, have anything to say about this Nanner Puss? We are here again with Officer Lactose Intolerant at the crime scene. What have you got? Well, here you can see a trail of syrup. And over there is a peel of banana. Tastes like blood. Does Officer Nanner Woman have any further evidence or suspicions? At this time, I know nothing of her whereabouts. I think she's over there. There she is. She's with Nanner Puss. Get him! Get him! <sighs> this is one, one tragic day for our news. No. <laughs> Where is he? I'm gonna get him. I can't see anything. Oh dear. has gone. Back to you, Josh. Thank you, Katie. Uh, we'll send a team to go check on them. Now to Bryson Williams for the weather report. The national weather today will consist of a warm front leading into the central states, including Texas. As you can see here, during the morning we'll have an upper 40s and by the afternoon, we'll have upper 70s with a 20% chance of rain. The weekend forecast will show that we will have temperate weather for the weekend, so go outside and play. And now we will return for, with Josh and Thomasita for more news. Thank you, Bryson. 
Now we'll go to Atlanta for our sports update. Two weeks ago, freshman Jada Ray traveled to Corpus Christi for the girls' state powerlifting meet and placed eighth overall. Way to go, Jada. Today, the baseball team will be traveling to Miller Grove for the district play while the Lady Warriors play here against Trenton. The district golf meet will be held in Mount Pleasant on Monday, April 7th. Both the Warriors and Lady Warriors will be competing at the district track meet Wednesday, April 9th. The meet will be held at our very own Honey Grove High School for the second year in a row. The Warriors are looking to defend their district champ titles. Also, coming up April 16th, the area track meet will be held here in Honey Grove. And if any qualifier for regional, they will be held to travel to Abilene on Friday, April 25th to compete. Now we pass it over to Kaylin Simon, who has a special Thank you, Atlanta. I'm here with senior Jerem Pat. I heard you left your opponents covered in dust at your last meet. Yeah, you already know. What are the events in which you compete? The 100, 4x1, and 4x2. What is your best memory so far of being in track? Talking to girls. Well, that concludes my interview, Jerem. We wish you the best of luck in track and hope you advance to regional and even state. Back to you, Atlanta. Thank you, Kaylin. That's a wrap up for our Honey Grove Sports segment. Now we're turning back to you, Josh and Tomasita. Thank you, Lana, for the update on our Warriors and Lady Warriors. Uh, that about wraps it up for your local news here on the Grove. And remember, stay classy, Honey Grove. <laughs>